Hmm, what happened to my town? This is probably the question you are trying to answer right now, because when you take a look at the current buildings I own, compared to the previous videos I made on Edge of Zed Origins, most of them were definitely higher level than the one you are currently seeing. But there is an explanation. Bonjour everyone, Pentof here today for a new video in which we are gonna take a look at the best decision I ever made in Age of Z Origins, at least the best decision for you and I to play together. It's basically re-rolling into the latest server they implemented. The nation I'm currently trying to build my city is the number 775. And of course, if you join me right now, we will be able to play together because I did something in order to be appealing to you, but most importantly, for you to be able to grow with me, aka creating my own alliance. I know at the moment it's already full because we have 30 people already in the clan. But keep in mind one thing, those guys just joined like that because right now and as I'm making this video, I did not put level in order to get uh, into the clan, like entry level or something like that. And as it's the first time ever that I'm an alliance chief, I discovered some really nice thing. For example, you can just personalize your alliance flag. And to be fair with you, I don't know yet what to go for because there are some really cool combination. And at the same time, I don't want to pick it by myself. I would like to be able to talk with you about it and what you think would be the best for the alliance. Personally, I love the blue color, which is why I would go for this background. I also love this little thing here that seems to be a plant, a zombie plant that looks pretty cool. And to finish off, the mighty helmet that just looks dope. It reminds me kind of the Doom Slayer for those of you that played the game Doom. And I don't know, it looks pretty cool. Or even the demon, like one of those two, because I still like to have a human face on the flag. I don't want to go for something like the Butcher, because in my opinion, it's a little bit too barbarians and it doesn't fit my side. Or even the, the death... What could that be? Like a death penalty? Like the, the death skull or something? Because it looks more like pestilence. It feels like pestilence rather than a strong and growing alliance. But in today's video, we are not necessarily going to focus on that alone. We are going to take a look at the overall map and obviously understand if yes or no, you have a chance to grow in my server. At the moment, I'm only at level six and I need to drag two fingers on the screen to zoom, which is something I'm not going to do. But basically, you see that we all have shields. The cool thing, and you're probably aware of this if you already play this kind of game, but you get a shield when you get into the game. And currently, as you can see, there are many, many, many people that are shielded. And it's extremely important to understand that it's the shield period that is probably the most important in terms of server growth. Because at this time, you can't get attacked by no one, which means that you can grow your town peacefully. So of course, if you get into the game and really work hard at the beginning of the shield period to unlock new buildings, to grow your city, etc. And of course, join the right alliance, aka mine, you will be able to just rule the server because usually, as I have some experience in the game, I can tell you that the first month of the, in the live of the server, in the life of the server, is definitely the most important because it's at the first month that there is an alliance that will pop out uh, considering all of the other alliance. There is necessarily one that is stronger and the stronger alliance is going to be the one that will obviously rule the whole server. So please make sure that it's our alliance that will rule it. And obviously to do that, we have many things we can do. There is the alliance help. Basically, every time you're doing a research, every time you're trying to build a, a building, pretty much trying to train troops, etc., your alliance can send you help up to 14 different helps. Of course, this will increase over time because the level of the alliance will grow as well. But at the beginning, it's only 14. But only not necessarily because every one of those is five minutes drop down uh, in terms of uh, speed length. What I mean by that is that if you are actually uh, trying to get, let's say, 60 troops that will take 30 minutes to get, if you get to the help section of the, uh, of the alliance, 
then if people help you effectively, you will drop down by a lot and therefore, and obviously to be able to do that, we have many things that can help. The first one is probably the most interesting called the Alliance help. Basically, if I had to summarize, every time you are doing something in the game that requires to spend time, for example, uh, new technologies to research, uh, new buildings, uh, new training, etc., etc. You can ask your alliance to help. It's quite easy. The player just has to log in, get into the alliance, and then the alliance help section and click on help all. Every time they do that, you will get a time reduction to whatever you're doing. Let's, that's perfect. We have one of those guys that is trying to get rapid fleet technology number one. So what we do is click on help all and bang, he got it straight away. The second thing that makes it important to join the Alliance right now so we can grow as soon as possible is the fact that we will unlock many different types of items inside the Alliance. Alliance buildings that will give you special and unique boosts. Alliance flags that will allow you to create not create, but dominate many territories on the uh, the regular map. Building status, benefits building, all of those that will just increase overall the statistics and that will just get linked to your alliance and your alliance only. And the craziest thing is that if we grow together and manage to get our CT to the maximum level, we will be able to get access to this kind of battles you are seeing on screen right now. Obviously, I couldn't show you that from my own account because I don't have the level to launch such a massive attack, but every single red trace you're seeing are the attackers and the green one are the people defending. And there are so many people attacking the same guy that is making the game lag. It's just hilarious to think that the what the players managed to create and managed to do with their attack makes the whole game bugs it's even it's like the game is not even fitting for that which is not the case because obviously that's what you're supposed to do but seeing that people are so well coordinated make me believe that yeah we can make it boys we can make it it's gonna take time i'm not gonna lie to you but if we just grow strong all together and manage to, I don't know, may maybe try to contact each other, get a discord for the clan and everything, we should be able to grow to the top and growing to the top is exactly what we seek. On top of that, there are many things that will help you grow, at least at the beginning. I would advise you, and it's extremely important, to respect the Doomsday Recovery Plan, which is basically the, the tutorial that will give you special resources, because the resources you will get into this will definitely allow you to grow stronger and faster. And trust me, the speed, specifically at the beginning of the server, as I already mentioned, is what is the most precious resource. It's not gold, it's not the, uh, the food, it's not the oil, no, it's time. If you get enough time, if you put enough effort and time into the game at the beginning, the game will return the favor in maybe six months, seven months after when you will really, really be strong and therefore be capable of annihilating pretty much all of your opponents without fearing any of them. So I'm launching a call, a war cry, call it whatever you want, a war scream, not war cry. But let's just see how many of you are willing to join the adventure with me. What I'm going to do probably for the moment, I'm on, the only one in charge of the clan called the Sleepers is going to change. I'm not Megalomaniac, I'm not going to keep the name of the clan with my own name. But uh, we will do a vote inside the clan when we will get people that join, in which we're going to decide the name of the clan. We are going to decide who is going to be the head chief, because I'm not going to put myself at the top of the clan uh, like ruling alone that's not what i want and of course we will get access to some specific uh levels in the clan we have the alliance leader but we also have the military advisor diplomatic planner recruiter deputy cabinet blah 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 and the cool thing is that there are 30 different grades and 30 different peoples which means that you are necessarily gonna get a, a rank into the alliance which will increase probably your involvement and therefore you are going to feel useful inside of a clan that takes care of you but also cares about the well-being of their players so guys you know what you have to do 
join the server 7075 so 775 and just uh, send me a dm straight into the game i will answer you get you in the clan if you need more explanation i can also create a discord or we can do that on my uh, regular discord as well create like an age of z origins topic in which we could talk to each other so i can give you some advices on how to grow because obviously I have some experience because i played the game in the past so hopefully you enjoyed hopefully you will join and i'm gonna see you soon for a new video bye